The topic is uh, urological dysfunction in Parkinson's disease. That is, problems patients uh, with Parkinson's disease uh, may have with their uh, urinary function. Now, one of the questions is, how would urological dysfunction present in Parkinson's disease? The main symptom, the main complaint that patients have is what we call urinary urgency. By urgency, I mean a sensation similar to what anybody would have as if the bladder was very full. And yet, when the patient finds the opportunity to go to a restroom, patient finds that there was relatively little amount to take care of. If you pair that kind of symptom, that is urinary urgency, hap happening very frequently throughout the day, you end up with a second symptom, which is what we call frequency, which is the natural product of having urinary urgency. Since the bladder, as it fills up, it has barely filled up when the patient is already having that symptom. In addition to that, the patient may have what we call nocturia. And nocturia would mean a need to get out of bed in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And that may happen a few times during the night, being one of the causes of disruption of patients sleep. Another important symptom that I would like to talk about that is not really related to Parkinson's disease, but it is important to, for patients to recognize, are symptoms of bladder, um, bladder emptying. Those symptoms, such as having to push to urinate, which we call hesitancy, and having a weak urinary stream, are really more likely to be related either to some of the medications that are used in Parkinson's disease, specifically anticholinergics, such as uh, trihexyphenidyl, also known as artane. Or, in a male patient, it is important to rule out an enlarged prostate.